If you're a musician, your computer or your tablet has the potential to be a really powerful recording tool that you can either use for making tracks or as a practice tool. Now here is some of the equipment that you might want to think about buying to make the most of it. You won't need all of it, but here's some examples. There are two kinds of recording inputs, audio and MIDI. Audio recordings capture the exact sound that you hear, whereas MIDI is a description of the music. We've got here an example of the same style as a MIDI file and as an audio file. And you can see that the MIDI file kind of makes sense. You can see the pitch going up, you can see how long the notes are, whereas the audio doesn't really give you the same sort of information. In fact, you can even change the instrument that's playing on a MIDI track. But the audio is better for capturing the feel of a performance. So neither is better, they're just used for different purposes. Now, MIDI devices, like the two keyboards I've got here, will either have actual MIDI sockets with five pins or a normal USB socket. You can see here, there's some MIDI sockets and they've got five pins and you'll normally find two or maybe three on the device. This keyboard here just got a simple USB socket. If you have a MIDI device without a USB socket like this microcord here, adapters are really inexpensive and can be used for other jobs such as backing up settings from the devices. Now you may have noticed we have three sockets on the back of this microcord, in, out and through. And that's because MIDI can not only be used to record instruments but also to play them. So if we wanted, we could send a MIDI track to the microcord to make an audio recording of its distinctive sounds. Audio recordings will use one of three different connections. As with some MIDI devices, some use a USB socket like the Samsung G-Track here, and they will include the audio converter for the computer. Otherwise, most devices will connect with either a jack or an XLR socket. Here's a jack plug and here's an XLR. XLR is normally found on microphones and jack sockets on instruments such as guitars. Keyboards might have either or both. Now an external sound card box like this M Audio Mobile Pre offers both sockets and they're often more convenient when you want to plug and unplug different instruments at the same time. Although this particular model isn't available anymore, alternatives such as the Lexicon Alpha Studio can be found for around £75 online. A cheaper alternative, if you don't need to record lots of instruments at the same time, is to buy special converter cables. Now Lindy make USB to both XLR and jack cables. They cost somewhere between 20 and 23 pounds each. As an added bonus, we've even been able to use them with GarageBand on the iPad using the iPad USB camera adapter. Now sadly, you won't get good results from simply plugging a guitar into the inputs on a normal sound card with an adapter. You will need some kind of device for recording audio. Well, that's it. Hopefully we've covered every likely combination. We've looked at some of the best value options. If your budget is bigger, you can add more channels to record more instruments at the same time and in better quality.